This is VOA News via remote. I'm Liz Pelka. The U.S. Senate Majority Leader introduced legislation on Tuesday that would link $2,000 COVID-19 relief checks to other President Donald Trump requests, specifically involving social media company legal protections and election fraud. The Senate's top Democrat, Chuck Schumer, responded in a statement saying the legislation, quote, won't pass the House and cannot become law. The back and forth now comes as President Trump pushes for larger stimulus checks for most Americans. The House of Representatives approved a measure on Monday, but Republican senators are deeply split over new spending. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell blocked a swift vote proposed by Senate Democrats Tuesday. McConnell says the Senate will begin a process to address the issue. But the next steps are highly uncertain, and it's quite possible no bill passes. Meanwhile, President Trump is urging the Republican majority Senate to uphold his veto of a $740 billion defense spending measure. More than 100 Republicans joined with Democrats Monday to approve the override of the veto, which will, would be the first of the Trump presidency. The Senate is expected to consider the measure later this week. The $740 billion De National Defense Authorization Act affirms a 3% pay raise for U.S. troops, improvements for military housing, and more. The coronavirus variant spreading first in the United Kingdom has now been detected in the United States. The U.S. governor of the state of Colorado is reporting what many American media outlets are calling the first case of the variant in the country. Governor Jared Polis tweeted Tuesday the patient is a male in his 20s with no travel history. This is VOA News. President-elect Joe Biden is criticizing the Trump administration for the pace of COVID-19 vaccine distribution. He also said things will get worse before they get better when it comes to the pandemic. The president-elect made the statement during remarks in the U.S. city of Wilmington, Delaware, on Tuesday. He added that the next few weeks and months are going to be the hardest for the nation, quote, maybe even the toughest during the entire pandemic. President-elect Biden went after the Trump administration over its vaccination efforts, warning that the project, Operation Warp Speed, is moving at a slower pace than needed. President Donald Trump deflected Biden's critique on Twitter Tuesday, saying it is up to the various states to distribute the shots once the federal government gets them to, to specific areas. Health experts in South Sudan are criticizing organizers of a weekend concert in Juba with tens of thousands of people, including the president. Concert goers gathered in a clear violation of the health ministry's COVID-19 protocols. Tanzanian music star Diamond Platinum's attracted all kinds of fans to the outdoor event at the Dr. John Garang Mausoleum, including President Salva Kiir. The vast majority of people ignored health ministry and World Health Organization directives to social distance or wear masks. President Kier wore a face covering. A World Health Organization epidemiologist in South Sudan said new strains of COVID-19 have emerged that can spread more easily in South Sudan. British lawmakers will vote on a Brexit deal on Wednesday. Prime Minister Boris Johnson will speak ahead of time, saying... Britain will be able to trade with its European neighbors and keep control of its laws and destiny. The prime minister is referring to the 11th hour deal he clinched on December 24th. The accord preserves Britain's zero tariff and zero quota access to the European Union's 450 million consumers, preventing the chaotic split business had feared. But it does not cover services, which make up 80% of the British economy, and trade in goods will still be hampered by red tape and higher costs. Johnson will say the deal resets Britain's relationship with its neighbors, ending its half-hearted membership of the European club, and instead becoming a sovereign equal able to do things differently. American Airlines flew a commercial flight using a Boeing 737 MAX on Tuesday. It's the first flight in U.S. skies since MAX planes were grounded after two deadly crashes in recent years. Via remote, I'm Liz Pelka, VOA News.